Hey yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen, this is Power Owner and today we are here with a brand new season of Minecraft Factions and well, this is gonna be a pretty insane season, boys, because as you guys can see, there's weekly payouts to the top five factions, which is gonna be freaking crazy and as you guys can see, the first place can get $150 PayPal and $250 Bycraft and while well, the rest you guys can see by yourself so in total each week the factions are going to be receiving $940 and $280 of it is PayPal how crazy is this that you can earn real life money while playing Minecraft so anyways today's video is going to be pretty exciting because we are going to be setting up ourselves our faction base and we're also going to be setting up ourselves a little grinder so I hope you guys are excited for it and hopefully we're gonna find ourselves the way to get to the top one because well your boy is going for the top one position so hope you guys are excited for today's video and I think without further ado let's just get it started and here we go Alrighty guys, so we managed to get ourselves a corner which is freaking amazing and it's gonna save us so much time with the base work because as you guys know, we don't actually need to build like four walls, we need to have only two walls going this way and going that way, so I'm super excited for that. But anyways, we are going to get today's episode started with a little bit of a base work. And we're going to start trenching out the area for our base so we can actually get it set up. And we can set up some spawner grinders inside of the base already. Because, well, as you guys know, the Grey Spirit is still active and it's going to be active for a while. So we don't really need to worry about setting up ourselves uh, much walls, right? Because nobody's actually going to be able to raid us. So anyways, I hope you guys are excited for it. I'm also going to leave a timestamp on the screen because we're gonna do a quick speed up of us trenching and after that we're gonna get back to the grind anyways here we go boys in three two one too many thoughts on my mind i can't sleep at night so i just keep writing i don't need no help i don't need opinions so don't waste my time then i just been living online my city don't show me no love and that's fine fuck local radio stations i got more plays than all of these rappers combined i'm going i'm going again i've been going in i'm fed up with so many things i gotta just let it all out i'm talking about the shit they've been talking about telling me i should do this telling me i should do that telling me telling me things about rap talking the truth and that stab in my back they will knock me off track no no too many things have been building been hard to deal with i just been drinking Remember my moves in the past, I'm wondering what was I thinking Lately I'm living in fear, wondering what if the end is so near All of this shit going on, the shootings are strong One shot to the head and I'm gone, I'm losing control but I can't let it go Cause I'm trying to get more and I've been in a moment I've been in a zone and I'm moving alone I don't pick up the phone when my family call I've been doing it wrong and I don't know what's happening Trying to get what I've just been imagining Getting close and I've just been examining All of the fake shit the game has been packaging I've been keeping real, I've been doing what I feel I've been out here trying to kill Where most of the people are so close minded They go into school and they work in a job But they don't even like it I won't be put in a box Nobody telling me what I should rock Nobody telling me what I should drop Cause I do what I want and just know I don't stop Recording till 4 in the morning They snoring, I'm pouring my soul into every story I'm writing, producing, I mix it, I master I'm building my craft and I'm not looking back I've been going doing things I wanna do. Okay guys, it's actually now the next day And I realized like, wait a minute our whole episode is right now about trenching, so I'm gonna cut the trenching and we're gonna do some fun stuff and I thought let's open up some Cray Keys because sometimes the Cray Keys can give us a huge boost and they can change the whole episode in just a matter of seconds as well. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna quickly show you guys what we have done off camera. Uh, well, a lot of trenching has been done and a lot of it has been done by the faction members as well. I was mainly trenching like this way, all the way down there and uh, also that way as well. Well, so we did quite a bit of trenching and then when I was doing the speed up, I'm like, wait a minute. I need to cut down the speed up like a lot more than I initially expected but uh, yeah as you guys can see a lot of trenching has been done and most of it has been done through the shockwave pickaxe which is a trench pickaxe and uh, well I'm just gonna show you guys how easy it is to just trench just like this and you're done uh, obviously you do have junk busters as well uh, I don't know how many of them we use because uh, I used only the trench pickaxe but anyways let's go to spawn and open up some crate keys I'm excited to 
see what we're gonna get from there and uh, yeah. Alright guys, so now we are at spawn and dude, take a look at the crate keys. They look kind of funny. I've never seen crate keys like this and I'm actually digging it. Like look at this guys, this kind of looks cute I would say even but anyways we have 15 legendary keys and if you guys didn't know with kits you can actually receive as well some of the crate keys which is pretty awesome uh, let me quickly see if I have any more kits to redeem I think I do and do we get crate keys from here as well I think it's only from the best crate key which uh, I would say is all right but anyways let's quickly drop it into our pv2 and then let's open up the crate keys. So the crate keys I'm the most excited for is the monthly crates and we have five of them. But first we're gonna start opening up the legendary crate keys. So anyways, here we go boys. And uh, yo, uh, wait, did we just win ourselves more crate keys? I think we did and we also got ourselves another kit, uh, which I'm hoping that I'm not gonna get too many kits because honestly, like right now, I just need one set because there's not that much PvP happening. Uh, but anyways, there we go. We just got some spawners and we got creeper spawners. Then we got ourselves a lightning wand. Uh, tier 5 money pouches. Okay, boys. This is actually getting pretty OP. 200,000 Enderman spawners. Okay, these spawners are freaking OP. More money pouches. Uh, more spawners. Mystery mob spawners. Okay. Dudes. Um, another shockwave pickaxe, which we don't really need. We got ourselves boosters, which we really do need. Uh, cell wand, which we also needed. Uh, XP booster. Uh, okay, boys. What is happening? How is this today's episode so freaking OP? Uh, okay, I'm, I'm doing something weird here. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and open up more Shockwave Pickaxe, XP Boosters, Creeper Spawners, more. Uh, if you guys didn't know, the reason why Creeper Spawners are really good is because TNT is kind of expensive on the server. So you want to set up the Creeper Spawners so when the TNT is going to be enabled, you're going to be having a lot of TNT from the Creeper Spawners that you can use for your beautiful cannons. And we just got more Creeper Spawners. Boys! Oh, Chunk Busters, let's go. And uh, 50,000 in-game money. Let's quickly take a look at our balance. So we are at 265,000. Let's open up the money pouches. Let's see how much we're going to get from here. And that is... Is that 1.8 mil? I think it is. Yo, okay. That was OP win. And uh, 579,000. Let's open up this one as well. So we can actually use it for the gen buckets, which is nice. And now our balance is 3.1 mil. Let's actually look at the balance top. Uh, people are at 9 mil. And we... Uh, yo. Boys, we are at balance top 3. Let's freaking go. That's actually pretty OP. Uh, and uh, we haven't even opened up the mystery mob spawner. So let's do that right now as well. And then we're going to open up the beautiful monthly crates, which I'm really looking forward to. And there we go. Let's quickly just redeem all of them. And uh, blaze spawners, that's good. Uh, the rest of the spawners, mm, nothing so good. Wait, we got an IG though. Okay, that's good. Um, but the rest of the spawner is not the best. Anyways, actually pretty pretty decent loot. Let's quickly just storage it away. And I think we're going to set up the spawners in a bit. Because uh, like I told you guys, sometimes opening up great keys depends on your luck. It can change the whole episode. And uh, well, here we are discussing setting up uh, grinders in the first episode. Anyways, let's grind, uh, open up this as well. I was about to say let's grind this out. Uh, but anyways, let's see what we're going to get. We got ourselves a void chest. Which is actually pretty sick as well. And does it sell it automatically? Yes, it does. Oh my god, that's super OP. Legendary keys, mystery mob spawners, um, and uh, five creeper spawners more. And then also another cell one. We do really need those cell ones, by the way. Uh, but if we have a void chest, do we need them? I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, there we go. Let's open up the next one. These are freaking OP, boys. I hope you guys are enjoying today's episode so far. If you guys are enjoying the episode, drop a like and uh, drop a comment. And I might even give away some of this stuff because I'm getting a lot of goodies. Obviously, my faction wouldn't be too happy about that. But as you guys can see, we are getting... Gives you access to a 10-minute death ban? Yo, what the heck? That's OP. That's OP. Anyways, let's open up more of these here. Let's see what we're gonna get. Uh, and uh, we are getting five lives. Uh, five creeper spawners, shockwave tool, uh, 50k, 500 MCMO credits, play spawners, uh, free junk busters. Let's go. And 10 golem spawners. Yo, we could set up a good IG grinder. 
We already have 11 IG spawners. Bruh, I, I feel like this episode is getting a little bit too OP, boys. But, uh, hey, the server is fairly OP, so keep that in mind, guys. And, oh my god, 17 Junk Busters. My faction is gonna be happy about that, boys. And uh, let's open up these legendary keys real quick. Oh, bruh, four IGs more. Let's go, 50,000 and lightning ones. Okay, I'm getting way too many lightning ones. I hope we can sell them. Uh, I th does the server have AH? Yes, there is. Maybe we're gonna sell them on the AH. So if you guys come on the server and you can want to get yourself a lightning one, you're gonna see me selling them. Okay, boys. Anyways, let's drop these in there as well. And I feel like I'm opening up maybe too many multi crates. Like, I'm getting so much goodies right now. Let's open up this as well. Let's go, let's go. And let's see what we're gonna get ourselves. Oh my god, more spawners. Dudes, I feel so paid to win right now. Uh, I'm sorry if you guys feel like it, but I think this kind of adds for good content. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's open up the mystery mob spawners. Let's see what spawners we're gonna get. And uh, we are gonna get ourselves... Bam, bam, bam. Not really good spawners, but hey, we're gonna accept that, boys. We're gonna accept that. We have the last crate key to go. Let's see what we're gonna get. Come on. Come on. Let's go, baby. I don't know even what to hope for because we got so much goodies already. Uh, so we got a lot of god apples, which kind of sucks, I guess. But we have so many boy chests, which is really OP. And then more golem spawners. Oh my god, dudes. I'm setting up the most OP grinder here on the server in a second here, okay? Oh my god. I am actually super, super excited. So anyways, let's go back to our base. Let's do quick junk busters and uh, yeah. Alrighty guys, we are back at our base and uh, let's put the Junk Busters to use. So let's drop it down real quick. And also right now, I don't actually have my uh, mod online that I can just see the Junk Borders. So that's a little bit unfortunate because I'm using the Skyblock add-on still. So uh, yeah, but anyway, so what we're going to go ahead and is do is we're going to just Junk Bust this area. And as you guys can see, it goes pretty freaking fast and uh, we have 21 of them. So we're going to clean up this area quite quickly. So I'm looking forward to that. And I guess we're going to do that real quick off camera. And I'm not sure exactly yet if we're going to set up the IG grinder in today's episode. Uh, because we may leave it for the next episode because we still have a lot of base work to do uh, But uh, anyways, we're gonna be back once I've used all the junk busters. It's gonna take me a little while So I'm gonna be back in a sec. Alrighty, so there we go We just finished using up our junk busters and uh, well as you guys can see we cleaned out a pretty big junk of this Anyways, now let's go home top <clears throat> And let's go ahead. Let's do slash gen bucket and I think we're gonna start genning finally and uh, we're gonna quickly gen the walls around the base so we can actually start setting up our grinder and uh, yeah but anyways let's go ahead and grab gen buckets and there we go and let's start using this and yo this is smooth okay perfect so anyways we're gonna quickly get the walls around our base and then we can start setting up our grinder. So hopefully we're gonna manage to do that in today's episode still. So hope you guys are excited for it. And let me make sure that I don't go too far. Okay, uh, hopefully we're not gonna go too far with our uh, walls here. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and do that right now. And uh, yeah. Alrighty guys, so we just finished genning the walls around our base. Now we're missing the roof, but we're gonna have a roof art on top of here. And I think we're gonna set up the IG grinder right now here. I mean, it can be moved later. Uh, I just didn't know where to put it exactly. And then we're gonna have um, 
hoppers going into the void chest and I'm not exactly sure how to set up the void chest to be most efficient but I think what we may do is I'm gonna place it like this because since we have so many void chests maybe to use it and uh, we're gonna place it down like this once again I'm not exactly sure how the void chests work on the server but this is the layout how I'm thinking to use it so there would be uh, the hoppers going into the void chest and there would be plenty of them so it would be even more efficient I think and a little bit faster uh, because I'm not sure what's the speed of the hoppers because sometimes servers have the hopper speed pretty low so uh, let's see if that's gonna work and uh, yeah but I think this shouldn't take us long to set up at all so we're setting up the IG grinder anyways in today's episode so I hope you guys are excited for it and honestly today's episode has turned out pretty well I would say so hopefully the IG grinder is gonna make us quite a bit of in-game money uh, because we did spend quite a bit on jetting the walls and uh, mainly we spent money on the hoppers because hoppers are pretty expensive I'm not making the most economical grinder I would say uh, we could have definitely uh, made it a little bit better i mean we could have made that um, ig style from lava so this way we can use less hoppers uh, but uh, since we're kind of op i don't know i guess we're gonna set it up like this so hopefully it's gonna be good let's go back to the top and i bought way too many hoppers g freaking g and oh ig's don't stack i thought ig stack on the server but they don't so we definitely need to set it up larger and uh gg they don't die from fall damage uh, did I not build it? Ah, bruh. 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 Alrighty guys, so we just moved it quite a bit lower and hopefully this is gonna work this time and hopefully the void chest work nicely as well. So anyways, let's place down more spawners and I think I need to build this area a little bit larger overall. Uh, for now, we're just gonna stack them up like this and uh, yeah, the IEGs are spawning freaking crazy. So that's, that's nice. Like, look at this. And yeah, they're all nicely dying as well, which is good. Okay guys, so I just went AFK for a few minutes and uh, I didn't know, but the void chest actually add to the balance of um, the faction, which is kind of good. And take a look at the balance going up so freaking fast. This grinder is actually really worth it. And like, look at this, we are already almost 76 million. Bam, there we go. So this grinder is actually mad OP. And also I think it added up quite a bit of F top value. So that's also pretty nice. As you guys can see, we are now at F top four, which is, uh, I mean, it's kind of whatever right now. Uh, also, I'm not sure if the IGs add into the value, um, but anyways, we are making bank. I mean, now it's 70, 9 million pretty much so that's really cool and i think yeah on this note we are gonna end today's episode in the next episode we're gonna see how much exactly we're gonna be making with our grinders and uh, i hope you guys are excited for it we do have a sugarcane farm as well that i didn't really show in today's episode so i can quickly show you guys that okay guys so now we're at the sugarcane farm as you guys can see it is pretty freaking massive and also i'm not exactly sure why they use such a layout because like, it's kind of hard to farm here, um, but maybe it's the fastest way to, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know why this kind of sugarcane farm is like this. Um, but yeah, this is our sugarcane farm. This has made us the most money right now. But in a second, we are going to be making big bank with our IG grinder. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys, today's episode. If you guys enjoyed it, drop a like, drop a sub, and I will see you guys in the next one. And a peace out.